kids! Welcome back to Kids Church Online. It's great to have you here this morning and today we're going to hear about how Jesus climbed a mountain and said we have to be salt and light. These things. How weird is that? Well, how about we get up and sing and dance to God first?
Hi everyone, welcome back to QuizWorks Home Delivery. I'm Matt. All right, I'm ready to go. Scott, what, what are you wearing? You told me that over the next few weeks, we're gonna be following Jesus up a mountain. So I've got my mountain climbing gear. I've got my hair to keep my head warm. I've got my sword to keep the Yeti away. Hiya! And I've got a... Uh... <laughs> I've got Cedric to keep me company. Uh, Scruff, we're not actually going mountain climbing. But you said! Over the next few weeks, we're going to be reading and thinking about what Jesus taught when he was up a mountain. We're not actually heading up a mountain ourselves. So I don't need all this stuff. No, you don't. Good. Do I look ridiculous? Over the next four weeks, we're going to be thinking about some words that Jesus taught uh, in what's called the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, the Sermon on the Mount it is found uh, in the Bible in a book called Matthew, in Matthew chapter 5 to 7. And in Matthew chapter 5 verse 1, we're told who it is that Jesus is teaching. Now, have a listen. It says, When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the side of a mountain and sat down. Jesus' disciples gathered around him and he taught them. Now, Jesus' disciples are people who are chosen by Jesus and called by Jesus and loved by Jesus too. So each, each week as we go through this Sermon on the Mount, I'm going to say, who are the people that Jesus is teaching? And I want everybody to go, these are people who are chosen by Jesus, called by Jesus and loved by Jesus too. And then I'll say, now where to? And we're going to go, follow Jesus, live like Jesus and become like Jesus too, like, like we're getting dressed, okay? So let's give that a go. Who are these people that Jesus is teaching? These are people who are chosen by Jesus, called by Jesus and loved by Jesus too. Now where to? Follow Jesus, live like Jesus and become like Jesus too. Excellent. Now, the words that we're going to be thinking about today in the Sermon on the Mount are from Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. You are like salt for everyone on earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? All it is good for is to be thrown out and walked on. Jesus uses lots of picture language here in the Sermon on the Mount. And so each week we're going to watch a video that kind of imagines what this picture language could look like. Let's have a look right now.
was a funny video. The salt lost its saltiness. Yeah, but Jesus' point here is that his followers, people who were chosen by Jesus, called by Jesus and loved by Jesus too, well, they must live differently to the people around them. They must be like, like salt on food. Oh, like, like salt on fish and chips. It, it makes things taste differently. Exactly. When we follow Jesus, live like Jesus and become like Jesus too, well, we will be different to the people around us who don't follow Jesus. But if you just act like everyone else, you're like salt with, with no saltiness. Exactly. And that does no one any good. Cool. Hey, hey Matt, could, could you send me a home delivery of that salt? Uh, why? Oh, I'm going to add it to Cedric. Then he might taste better. Oh no, poor Cedric. I think he'll be okay. So Matt and Scruff just explained to us that we are to be salt and to live differently as Jesus' followers. But what about this? Being light? Let's have a look now. <laughs> you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. This is Chris. And this is Lisa. And they're going for a walk. In the dark. Oh dear, Chris has fallen over. Ooh. What has Chris found? Oh, it's a lamp. Now they'll have light. Excellent. Lisa knows just what to do. But I'm not so sure about Chris. Oh well, let's see what Lisa is up to. Let there be light. Oh dear. Chris doesn't know what the lamp is for. Lisa does. Ooh. Chris doesn't seem to like that idea. But don't worry, Lisa will fix it. What is Chris doing? Poor Chris just doesn't understand. Ooh. I have a bad feeling about this. Ouch. Oh, Lisa's not happy. It looks like the light is going to stay hidden. Oh, well done, Lisa. What now? Fantastic! Chris has finally got it! And now, everybody can see! It's time for a party! You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So not only are we to be salt and live differently, but we are to be light in the world too, shining the light of Jesus to others. How about we pray to God now? Father God, Lord, we pray that we continue to live for you. Lord, as salt and light in the world. Lord, help us to live differently 
and to shine your light to others that they may come to know you too. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi everyone, I'm Miriam and I'm going to teach you a memory verse from the Bible, from the Sermon on the Mount. This is going to be our memory verse for the whole four weeks. And this is from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. And it's Jesus speaking and he's telling us that we need to listen to what he says and then we need to do what he says. Okay, so this is from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say the words with some actions and then I want you to say the words with the actions after me. Okay, so we start like this. We go, Jesus said, together, Jesus said. Now, we're doing this for Jesus uh, because this is actually sign language for Jesus. Jesus died on the cross, so he had some nails put in his hands. That's why it's sign language for Jesus. Um, and this is sign language for said. Then we go, if you hear these words of mine and put them into action, let's do that together. If you hear these words of mine and put them into action, then we go, you're like a wise person. So you're, you're making like a W. You're like a wise person who built their house on the rock. Huh. Ready? Together. You're like a wise person who built their house on the rock. Huh. Excellent. Then we go, the rain came down, swoosh. Your turn. The rain came down, swoosh. Then we go, the streams rose, bubble, bubble, bubble. Your turn. The streams rose, bubble, bubble, bubble. And then we go, and the wind blew, whoosh. Your turn. And the wind blew, whoosh. Then we go, but it didn't fall, no. Together. But it didn't fall, no. Because it was built on the rock, huh. Your turn. Because it was built on the rock, huh. Excellent. Then we go, but <laughs> if you hear these words of mine and don't put them into action, your turn. But if you hear these words of mine and don't put them into action, you're like a foolish person who built their house on the sand. Ew! Together. You're like a foolish person who built their house on the sand. Ew! And then the next part's the same. So let's do it all together. The rain came down, swoosh. The streams rose, bubble, 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 and the wind blew, whoosh. And then we go, and it went crash. And then you go and fall over. Ready? And it went crash. And then we go, because it was built on the sand. Ew. Okay? Because it was built on the sand. Ew. All right, let's see if we can do it together all the way from the top. This is from the Bible, from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. Here we go. One, two, three. Jesus said, if you hear these words of mine and put them into action, you're like a wise person who built their house on the rock. Huh. The rain came down, swoosh, the streams rose, bubble, 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 and the wind blew, whoosh, but it didn't fall, no, because it was built on the rock, huh. but if you hear these words of mine and don't put them into action, you're like a foolish person who built their house on the sand. Ew! The rain came down, swoosh. 
the streams rose, bubble, 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 and the wind blew, whoosh, and it went crash, because it was built on the sand, ew. In other words, Jesus is telling us we've got to listen to what he says, and we have to do what he says. So Miriam just taught us a great memory verse about how we are to hear what Jesus says and then do what Jesus says. But it's okay if you've forgotten it because we're going to practice it every week so we can help us remember it. Now, we're nearly at the end of our time together, but that's okay because you've got activities that you can still do that were sent in the mail, or you can visit the church website and download them from there. We'll see you next week. Bye! I want to sing, I want to shout, I want to tell everybody what I know about. I got a light, I got to shine, it makes me dance and spin around. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it, I cannot keep it to myself. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it, I cannot keep it to myself. So I throw my hands up. I'm so excited, I just can't hide